brands sponsoring Pride Month is nothing new. Target has had a Pride collection for over a decade now, but Light has been doing gay campaigns since the early 90s. And while nearly every American corporation funds Pride parades or changes their logo to rainbow, this year is a little different. What's changed? I go into depth about this in my last video, but if we're looking at the bigger picture, over the last three to five years, we have seen a rise in anti-LGBTQ demonstrations. And this is mainly because it's the trans community and drag queens that are targeting children. If there's one thing that we know, children are off limits. So if you want more context on that, be sure to watch my latest video, but we're going to dive right into this Target situation. I found this video of this man ranting in Target about the Pride collection, and he brings up two good points that I think a lot of us can relate to. Memorial Day weekend. Where is the display supporting and showing homage to a men and women at a military? There's nothing. There's a couple of little made in China patriotic pieces of shit here. Okay, he brings up a good point here. The Pride Collection gets this big, huge display. Black History Month gets this big, huge display. And it's Memorial Weekend, and there's just this little section of American stuff that is all made in China, ironically. You know, the, the gays and the blacks, we get so much attention, so much praise. But what about our veterans? What about our army? What about our local service leaders? Like. Where they're not getting that same amount of praise and they're the ones protecting us and allowing us to live this freely so where where is their attention at so i see that point this is bullshit. no problem with the pride section take the kids out of it that's what you have to do that right there he has no problem with the pride collection just take the kids out of it and i think that's where a lot of people land we, we don't have a problem with the gay community it's why the gays have been fine for so long it wasn't until the last three to five years we've seen a rise like we're going back in time to people hating gays and it's because we can't leave the kids alone had target not done any of this had they have just been here's a pride collection for adults for when you're at the pride parades whatever it may be it would pretty much be fine i don't think they'd be seeing this much controversy now the reason we're talking about target is because they are selling a swimsuit a part of their product collection that is made for tucking the swimsuit comes in sizes extra small to a 4x and it is meant for adults however there are a lot of content creators who stated that the swimsuit was made for children and that's just not the case and i thought that was the case when i heard that they were making tucking swimsuits for children i was like what there's no way let me fact check this let me look into this and no, not the case. There is no tucking swimsuits for children that Target is selling. Knowing that the swimsuit is designed for adults, I'm fine with it, just because we've gotta start somewhere. Would I much rather people accept who they are in their body, embrace their body, and go about their life? Yes, but that is just not the case. I'd much rather a guy wear this swimsuit than to go through the surgery, chop off their body parts, fit, act like a woman, and then regret it later. Like we're already yelling, don't transition, but now we're gonna yell, don't wear the clothes too? Like, how much are we trying to restrict? How much are we trying to tell other grown adults what to do in this free country? I mean, damn, if a grown man wants to wear a woman's bathing suit, I think that's fine. We already got men wearing Speedos. Like, it's, we're not, you're not fearing the bulge, so I, that's just me. You're a grown adult, just do you. And like the guy said in the beginning of this video, had Target just left the kids out of it, like left the kids t-shirts, the kids onesies, we pretty much wouldn't be hearing about this. The case of Bud Light. Again, Bud Light has been doing marketing campaigns toward the gays since the early 90s, but this year is different because they did an ad campaign with Dylan Mulvaney. And it's not just that Dylan Mulvaney is a trans person, I don't think that really is the issue. The issue is that Dylan advocates for trans kids. It's day 249 of being a girl, and this video is to all the queer and trans kids and teens out there. Again, it's the kids that are off limits. It is the kids that people have a lot of problems with. And that ties right into my advice for brands. Leave the trans community alone and leave the drag queens alone. And if you do that, I'm pretty sure you will be fine. Now, the TQ Plus community has hijacked Pride, so I would really stay away from all of it. But if you want to celebrate Pride, then I would stick to just adult-only items and stay away from the trans community and the drag queens because... Right Right now, it is just extremely toxic in the United States uh, regarding those two communities and how they are marketing themselves towards children. So I would just stay away from that completely. My advice to you, in general, support the brands that you love and spend less time canceling the ones that you hate. We live in a free country for a reason. You're not going to support and agree with every single company in this nation. It's just not going to happen. But I'd love to see us take all this energy that we're spending trying to cancel a brand into pouring into loving the brands that do have and support our values. It's why Public Square is such an amazing app. If you do not have it, you should download it. It's basically like a Yelp or a Google listing, but it has just patriotic, freedom-loving businesses that are against the woke ideology 
the identity politics, the whole nine. This is an amazing app. You should download it. The link is in the description below. But I bring them up because that is your way to find businesses that have the values that you have instead of putting all this energy and just complaining about the businesses that don't. Because there's a lot of people going from, yes, freedom and shop where you want, shop with your values, to I demand corporations to solely represent my interest. It's not going to happen. Just go shop where you want, shop where your values align, promote those businesses, hype them up, and go about your day. So that's all I wanted to say about this topic regarding Target, Bud Light, and all these brands getting canceled. Really, the main reason you're getting canceled is because of the children. So just leave them alone and leave anything alone that is targeting children like the drag queens, like the trans community. Just drop it and you will not see yourself in all of this PR nightmare that is Pride Month. Like it's not even June 1st and I'm already over it. I, I, who knows what this month is gonna be like, but it's going to be interesting. Regardless, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and thank you all for the so much support on my content. It means the world to me. Just watching this channel grow and we're on a road to 100K, which is going to be, I can't even fathom it. So thank you all a ton. And as always, I hope that you're spending every day striving to be the person that you wish to be. And you understand that no one is preventing you from doing what you want to do but you. So you have to get up, go out there, and go after it. Stay motivated, stay positive, and love you a bunch. Bye.